Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more topic in ethical hacking that is a malicious software. And this malicious software is also known as malware. So what exactly do this malware? So this will interrupt our system operations or data or network so that means it will deviate from its normal operation okay so that we call it as a malware or malicious software so the hacker will use this malware or a malicious software to exploit the target system so the i to identify the target system the vulnerabilities of the target system so the attacker will use these type of malicious softwares or a malware so it's also a program okay it's also a program so which will disturb the normal operation of a system right now we'll see what are the different types of softwares and how these malicious software will enter into our system so unless the software enters into, into our system the hacker can't gain the access right so how these malwares will enter into the system we'll see the different types of malwares or malicious softwares so first comes under virus so i think all of you are aware about this one the computer virus so the computer virus will replicate itself replicate itself and spread on in the system and spread in the system that means it will create its own files and that will be spread in the complete system it will be affected in the another files so if one file is affected with the virus automatically that file will corrupt the remaining files so that means by replicating itself so no one can, I mean, involves in this right so if one virus file enters into our system automatically it will replicate itself and it will be spread in the system so how these virus will be entering into our system so so the files as we said that through files through files so that may be a word file excel file etc or exe files so whatever it may be the file whatever the file extension it may be through the files the virus will enter into our system once it was there in our system automatically it will replicate itself so that is the one malicious software and the second one worms worms so worms are also a type of malicious software but the it uses this worms uses network network to spread in the system to spread into system or to enter into system right so with the help of a network the worms will enter into our system so how these worms will be entered so one by using emails right so email means so sending a message in a network right so in terms of emails the data the worms will be entering into the system so you can say through emails worms enter into system so if two systems are connected in a network if one system is having this worm automatically that will be generated towards second system it will be redirected to the second system so only one medium to replicate this worms is network through network the worms will be spread and the third one so this is another type of malicious software trojan horse 
Trojan horse. And this Trojan horse is also a type of malicious software. And uh, this is, it looks like legitimate software. It looks like a legitimate software and uh, unnoticeable by user. So user can't notice this one. Okay. So unnoticeable by user and runs in the background. So we can't identify. Runs in the background. Right? We can't identify this one. So how this Trojan horse enters into our system? So as I said, this legitimate software. So through utility software. See the second point, this one. Utility software or attachments attachments so by means of these two things the trojan horse will enter into our system so it will look like a legitimate software so it will run in the background and unnoticeable by the user because it runs in the background so we can't notice them so there is a third type of malicious software next the next type Ransomware. Ransomware. So this is most dangerous. Most dangerous. And it locks all the files and folders using some encryption algorithm. using some encryption algorithm and attacker demands money to provide decryption tool so until you get this decryption tool you can't get the data back right so the attacker demands the money to provide the decryption tool so unless all the files will be locked with some encryption algorithm so this is very dangerous and how it will enter into our system so this this type of malware will enter through phishing sites Phishing sites. So phishing means replicating the website and treating that website as a legitimate website so that the user will uh, just click on that website and uh, he or she will give the data, personal data or financial data so that that complete data will be uh, sent to the attacker. So that's called a phishing sites. So this malicious software that means a ransomware will spread or will enter into the system through the phishing sites, links in the phishing sites. Okay links links in the phishing sites right next spyware spyware so spyware the name itself indicates it will spy all the activities done on the system it will spy all the activities being done on system and sends to attacker sends to the attacker right so this this type of uh, malicious 
software we call it as a spyware spyware right next adware so here this will spread through advertisements advertisements or browser extensions so through these one this adware will affect our system right through the advertisements mainly through the advertisements so that's why we call it as a adware adware so this is also one type of malicious software and then the next one rootkit rootkit the name itself indicates it will give a root privileges root privileges so what are these root privileges so these root privileges are similar to admin privileges so in order to install any tools in our system we require some admin uh, privileges so only the admin can install the system right uh, install the tools so that privilege is given to the uh, this one in this root kit okay similar to admin privileges and it resides and this root kit resides deep in the kernel deep in the kernel that means the lower level so very difficult to identify very difficult to identify so the only one solution if the system affects with the root kit is reinstallation of os reinstallation of operating system is the only solution sometimes is the only solution sometimes so this is very difficult uh, malicious software that is a root kit and then the next one is keylogger keylogger so here also the name itself indicates so it will record all the keystrokes done on the system and it will be sent to the attacker so it will record all the keystrokes so keystrokes means whatever the keys we are pressing on the keyboard everything will be recorded that means one log will be maintained and the log will be directly given to the attacker so record all the keystrokes done on the system and the log will be given to the attacker so whatever the keystrokes we are doing in our keyboard everything will be recorded that means simply the login credentials or some personal information or some financial information sometimes so nowadays we are using the internet for everything right so automatically sometimes we may give some personal information we may give some financial information so all those keystrokes will be recorded and that will be directly given to the attacker so like uh, login credentials or personal or financial information this will be given to the attacker second point right so this is the one type of malware or malicious software next next one
browser hijacker browser hijacker so the name itself indicates they will get access of the browser ok the attacker attacker gets an access on browser so obviously changes the settings of a browser changes the settings of browser and they'll, uh, they'll promote their own web page or their own fake pages on the browser. So such type will be called as a browser hijacker. That means the complete control of the browser will be in the hands of attacker. So this will be done through the web extensions, browser extensions. Right? Next. botnet botnet and this botnet is is a network with infected computers infected computers this botnet will be is a network with infected computers and here here each system each system in the network we call them as a bot each bot will act as zombie to spread through other systems spread through other systems so that we call it as a botnet so botnet is also one malicious software right so hope you understood this one see these are the malicious softwares that the attacker may use these to gain the access of a system okay so all these softwares will gain the access and will will disturb the normal operation of a system they will disturb the normal operation of a system and in order to prevent this one the only one solution we are using is one is antivirus and one is a firewall so file firewall will detect the i mean will uh, prevent from the malicious software and antivirus will detect the malicious files or a software which are available in the system so these two are very important firewalls and antivirus right so malicious softwares i'll write once again and i will close this thing so these are the malicious softwares or these are also known as malwares so first one so what is the first one virus second one worms third one trojan horse next ransomware ransomware Spyware, Adware, Rootkit, Keylogger, Browser Hijacker, botnets so all these are the malicious software or malicious malwares malwares so all these will disturb the normal operation of a system so hope you understood this one so these malicious softwares and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.